Oh, fine. Good evening, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I am in the Highgate Falls Episcopal Church Cemetery in Highgate Falls, Highgate, Vermont. Highgate, uh, Vermont is near the Canadian border, uh, in case you didn't know. It's, it's a decent drive um, for me to make. But uh, it was important for me not only to film the entire cemetery, which I did, and I'll include a link in, um, in this video, but uh, it was really important for me to find uh, this family plot. And who am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about Dr. Henry Baxter and uh, his wife and children. In fact, before I show you the headstone, well, before I start reading the headstone, hopefully I can read it. Here we go. In case there was any doubt. Ta-da. Baxter. That's quite a chunk of granite right there. Uh, well, you see, it's a thick piece of granite. You see, uh, Marion was buried right here, 1841 to 1922. So she was 80, 81 when she died. We can see Frank W. 1843 to 1897. And we see these four right here. This is, um, I don't know her name, but it was daughter of, and she was one year and seven months. We have uh, I can't read that name either. Kenny. Maybe? Henry. Henry. Um, son of. Uh, let's see. 11 months, 14 months, and 4 days. I'm not sure if that's 11 or 14 on there. Well, I think it's 14. Actually, can you read her name if I zoom in over here? I couldn't read it. Maybe it's June. Not entirely so certain. Charles Edward, son of um, H. A. Baxter. And this is George Henry, son of H. and A. G. Baxter. He was two years, three months, fourteen days. It appears. Let's look, 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 look a little closer at this. I think that's what that says. And uh, you can certainly correct me if I'm wrong. If you've read it to see, say something else. Hey. This is uh, Adelia G. Woodruff, wife of Henry Baxter, M.D., born at Tynmouth, Vermont, January 12, 1822, died at Highgate, Vermont, June 6, 1887. And, uh, oops, oops, here, up there a little bit, you can always see my video, uh, not videos, you can see my videos on YouTube, but you can uh, always see my photographs, rather, on uh, Instagram and uh, Facebook under Traveling for History, so you can use quotation marks or the at sign, and you can find me that way as well. Um, you can follow me also on uh, Twitter, Traveling for High One. That's H I with a numeral one. I upload every day and therefore I post every day. And this is the grave of Dr. Henry Baxter, MD. Well, Henry Baxter, MD, right there. Um, April 15, 1821 to September hmm, something. 1897. So he lived, outlived his wife by 10 years. 
That's so hard to read. So why did I want to film these folks? Well, Dr. Baxter and his family bought a house on the green. It's, uh, we can't see it from here, but it's, it's over there. And um, they, they really, he, he really changed it up a lot. Um, you'll see it in another video. But um, it was not only their home, but it was also his medical practice. So a room that had been a library, a more modern library, was actually his operating room. And apparently you can still see the uh, blood stains on the floor. But worse than that, I mean, I mean, it's an operating room, there's going to be blood. But, uh, but here's the thing. Dr. Baxter, there's, there's this legend uh, here in Highgate that, um, that he experimented on his children. And um, many did not live beyond the age of 10. Now, we know these four. Uh, didn't even make it to what five no six that one was six so but you know I think that's I could not find any evidence of that and uh, there's one more place I need to check but uh, I've been racking my brain and um, and racking the uh, the research too um, there's just uh, I mean legend is just that it's, it's a legend did it really happen hmm I mean, what did someone see that made them think, yeah, he's doing something bad to his kids? We know that uh, in this, uh, during this, that time period, there were no vaccinations. So children would be dying from diphtheria or smallpox or the flu or um, t tuberculosis, um, tetanus, which is also lockjaw, um, a whole host of things. I mean, there was a um, family in um, the Colchester, Vermont, uh, Colchester Village Cemetery in Vermont. Uh, nine children lost to um, to uh, whatever was coming through. Maybe it was smallpox. Nine children. Now, I mean, these folks lost four of their children. I think it's just abundantly unfair that uh, this is suggested. But then again, maybe he did something. That's the problem with the legend, isn't it? So, anyway. I wanted to make a separate video because I just... Uh, it feels like a terrible wrong. Of course, if he did something, that is a terrible wrong. All right. I really don't have anything else to say about uh, any of them at this point. Um, check out my video on... Uh, the Highgate Manor, also known as Baxter House. That's going to be fun to film. Looking forward to that. Alrighty. Thanks so much for coming along with me. If you like my uh, videos, hey, subscribe to my channel. 145 people. Yay! Thanks so much. I'm still uploading every day. It's March 23, 2022. I still enjoy all this filming I do. And um, it's just um, so interesting to me. Hope it's interesting to you as well. And on that note, this is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. Appreciate your watching the video, and until I see you tomorrow, you have a great night. Thanks for watching. Bye.